Or for some of our neighbors, the pandemic has caused real food insecurity. Families who may have already relied on food pantries now need meal sources even more. Yeah, and Emily Stroud shows us how two nonprofits are coming together to pack 40,000 meals tomorrow morning. There is a wonderful event happening tomorrow morning. It's bringing churches together and organizations in our area. They are going to feed the hungry. With me here via Zoom, we have David Crocker, and he is with Operation Inasmuch. And we also have Cheney Whaley, and she was with the Knoxville International Network, also known as KIN. Thanks for being here. David, I want to start with you. What mm -hmm. is the you mission you. of your organization? Our organization, Emily, uh, works with churches to help them mobilize their members to get out into their own community to help people in need. And we do that in a variety of ways, but it's really exciting to see uh, people who have never served people in need uh, having a, a natural and easy way to do that. And we worked with a number of churches in the Knoxville area and also in 26 other states around the country. I love that mission. Janie, what exactly is going on tomorrow at this meal packing event? We are combining and partnering with multiple churches as well as multiple internationals from up to 13 to possibly 17 different countries are all going to come together in one location and pack up to 40,000 meals for local food pantries and internationals in the Knoxville area. Jenny, because of COVID, there is just seems like there's so much more need for food. What does it say to you that these people are coming together united in this effort? Truly, it is, um, it's just a blessing from the Lord that people are putting aside their fears. Everything is going to be socially distant, but they want to help their brothers and sisters. We have people from Congo who are helping the Iraqi people. We have people from Burundi who are helping people from Mexico, and they're going to be working side by side with the American-born citizens as well. David, you are following COVID-19 protocols. How is this meal packing event going to be different from so many others you've done in the past? Well, in, in staging this event, Emily, we are spreading things out to allow for the social distancing. Whereas before, we would simply have a line of a couple of tables and people literally standing shoulder to shoulder working. In this case, they will be spread out with tables at least six feet apart in order for it to, to happen in a way that is safe for everyone. Thank you so much. If you guys out there see a giant crowd at Woodlawn Christian Church, you'll know what's going on. It's a wonderful meal packing event to help the hungry in our community. What a great event. Yeah, terrific. And they say it's a real blessing that they have more than enough volunteers for the project tomorrow, but they do plan future meal packing programs. So if you'd like to participate, you can get in touch with them. Oh,